Okay, this video is going to be a Blender video on how to add different materials to your mesh. And this is something I wrestled with, couldn't find any information on. So now I'm going to add some information. Okay, here we are in Blender 2.5 Alpha. Something I like to do is add a couple tools. For some reason it doesn't stick when I hit Control U. But I like to uh, add Plane and add Cube and add UV Sphere up here um, but for right now we're just going to put the add plane up there but like I say when I do the control U say we're use user settings and close it down open it up those will be gone so if anybody knows something about how to keep those there let me know all right so let's uh, hit seven and go from the top view and I'm going to add a plane hit S and it's going to scale it up hit tab Go in edit mode and we're going to subdivide it one, two, three. Let's go four times. Let's scale it up a little more. Okay, and then hit A to unselect all vertices. Now you want to add, let's say you want to make a flag, so you want to add different colors to different uh, vertices. Okay, this is how you do it. You don't have to create vertex groups like some people are saying. This is how you do it. First thing you have to do is come over here to the uh, material button, come up to the mesh. You notice in here in the outline you're also on the mesh. Um, you don't have to have any vertices selected at this time, but you are in the edit mode. Um, go ahead and hit the plus sign to enter a slot. And although there's nothing in the slot, hit assign. And this is important because if you don't do this, it won't work. So the assign now assigns a material, assigns basically what was there in your viewfinder, the way you were looking at it. It just applies it. Okay, so now that we've done that, now you want to add some color to it. So we've got to add another slot. And now that you've added a slot here, see I clicked that plus and I added a slot. We are going to add a material to the to that slot. We're going to leave this one alone. That's like the um, the original. And if you don't do that, when you create a material, it's going to apply it to the whole uh, mesh. So on the second material you've created, after you assign the first one to the entire object, which by the way you're doing with no vertices selected which is different than what you're going to do when you when you apply it to a group of vertices. Uh, for some reason you can hit assign and it'll apply it to the entire object um, on the first go around. Alright so now we've created this slot let's create a material by coming down here to, to new or if you already have some materials in here you would click on this button and you would select it but we don't have any so let's click a new one and I'm gonna say this is uh, uh, white hit return now I've, I've named it it's changed in the slot up here and now you've actually got to go down here and create it so I'm gonna make this white so I'm just gonna turn the saturation up leave the uh, the dot in the center of the color wheel. Take the mouse away from the color wheel and it disappears. Now you've got like a white. So if I hit B, which is going to select everything, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to assign white to that mesh. I, I, I assigned it to the whole thing. Now I didn't have to, but my flag, I want to start with a white background. So then I hit escape, or excuse me, I hit A to unselect the vertices. Um, okay, now I want to add another color. Let's make a Swiss flag for simplicity reasons. I'm going to add another one, another slot. And this one, we're going to click on this for add new material. And notice it it brought the white down and, add, and it was going to leave that white there when you hit the add new material but if you want a different material you've got to hit this add button right here 
and then it's going to come up and think you want a deviation of white, but I don't. I want red, so I'm going to change the name to red. Hit return. Then go down here and create the material. Right now I'm just using colors, so uh, not to be elaborate. Okay, so there's red. And now I want to apply it to some vertices, so I'm going to hit uh, C, which used to be BB, to bring up the brush, but it's now the letter C. And I'm going to click and drag, and I want to select a cross like the Swiss flag. And uh, we're going to go across this way. All right, and then hit escape to get out of the brush mode. And now I've got my red in here. I got it here in this slot. Now when I hit assign, it's going to assign it to those vertices. Boom. Bring my uh, cursor back into the 3D viewport. Hit A to unselect. And uh, let's, let's render this out so we can just see what it looks like. And there it is. You've got different colors to different uh, groups of vertices. And remember, I didn't have to apply white to the whole thing. I just had to, to hit the plus and then hit the assign with nothing selected as a start. And there you go. That's it. Well, let's do one more while we're at it. All right. So... Um, Let's create uh, a different color. So I hit the plus here. I created a slot. I'm going to hit the plus here. I'm going to change the material. Let's call it green. And now we'll change the material to green. Okay, and now I'm going to select uh, C. I'm going to select the brush again. We're just going to do the corners. Okay, hit escape to get out of that mode, hit assign, and boom. And then hit uh, A to unselect the vertices so you can see the colors. Now let's render that. And there we go. One object, three different colors. Thanks for watching.